up, guys? So I just dug this uh, Russian olive out of the yard. It's, uh, I'll put the well the scientific name right here. It's like it's like the same genus as uh, silverberry, um, but these things grow like weeds around here. They're kind of an invasive species. So I dug this one up a couple years ago. Uh, off the side of the road, while I was at work, maybe 2018, maybe, and it was, I don't know, maybe the diameter right here, and then I had it in a pot for about a year, and then I planted it on the ground on a tile, and it's got a pretty decent radial root spread here. I'm just gonna cut these back a little bit. And fit her into a pot, get rid of some of these bigger branches. Um, so, yeah. say work with what's in your area so uh, I'm just learning just having fun I think it's kind of a cool tree to start with so let's just take some branches off here these things are pretty these things are pretty thorny too so we'll watch out for those This is probably going to have to get sawed off. I cannot. Um, I might leave this bottom branch here. I'll get a lot of 
buds here, kind of where these, all these initial branches start from. Um, it's kind of, kind of what this thing does. You've, I mean, you can never hack too much off. You're always going to get buds everywhere. So, um, um, so yeah, I think this, that's kind of my front there that I chose. Um, and come spring, when this thing starts growing, I will either carve that down or um, cut it out with the knob cutters. Uh, these things heal over pretty quick, but in case it doesn't for some reason, I think it'd be cool to have kind of a hollow looking thing right there in the future. So, anyways, give you guys a spin and go put this in the outside shed safe from the cold weather so thanks for watching